Cameron denied the rumor that a $30 million movie deal with Megan Post. Full list of actors without the Duchess days after Harry and Meghan's flashy lunch date in Monsito, with a listers Cameron Diaz and Gwyneth Paltrow. On May 12th, they made a splash on the red carpet in New York City. The pair beamed as they posed for photographs at the Women of Vision Awards. And now, insiders say the big night was part of a surprise new plan. After Meghan signed with top-tier talent agency WME, Whispers have emerged that she's preparing to relaunch herself as an actress. Sources say the Duchess is trying to land a big movie role reportedly worth $30 million in an upcoming U.S. production. Stoke in these flames, the fact that Meghan's lunch companion Wyneth is married to major Hollywood producer Brad Falchuk. She's determined to secure a deal with Brad given he has a wealth of connections that could help put her on the map as an A-list star saves the source. Getting back on the screen is reportedly one of the main reasons the former Suits actress pushed to move back to California in the first place. Megan is said to have always been infatuated with Gwyn and wants to model herself after her. Of course, the Women of Vision Awards didn't end as Megan planned. If the spokesperson who claimed that Meghan and Harry were involved in their catastrophic car chases to be believed, according to the NYPD, Meghan and Harry's journey home was challenging because of numerous photographers. But there were no collisions, injuries, or arrests. According to the source, Meghan is most likely with Cameron participating in the brand new movie project back in action this year. However, the producer of Cameron quickly announced the cast as to deny the rumors. And obviously, the meeting at Sushi Restaurant was purely coincidental, and Cameron and Duchess Megan just passed each other. They'd never sat down and talked. Four years after announcing their retirement from acting, Carmen Diaz will return to the big screen in the upcoming action comedy Back in Action. Diaz will reunite with fellow Annie actor Jamie Foxx, who'll be working on his fifth original for Netflix. Here's everything we know so far about Back in Action on Netflix. Back in Action is an upcoming Netflix original action comedy film directed by Horrible Bosses. Seth Gordon Neighbors writer Brendan O'Brien wrote the script for the feature to Tari Turner on Cork to Mark McNair into the Storm. Join O'Brien as executive producer on the project for the producers of Ubalman for Good One Productions and director Seth Gordon for Exhibit A. The biggest casting news for Back in Action is actress Cameron Diaz. Coming out of retirement to act with Jamie Foxx for the third time in her career, Diaz previously acted alongside Foxx in the 1999 sports drama Any Given Sunday and once again in 2014 in the remake of Annie. Ironically, Annie was the last film Diaz acted in before announcing her retirement in 2018. With a little help from NFL legend Tom Brady, Jamie Foxx helped Diaz come out of retirement. Speaking with Jimmy Fallon on The Tonight Show, Diaz said that acting feels different. Having taken an extended break from Hollywood, in issue 1341 of Production Weekly. We learned that new cast members have been revealed, joining Fox and Dizer, Kyle Chandler, Glenn Close, Andrew Scott, Jamie Dimitriou, McKenna Roberts, and Rylan Jackson.